Well, we're here today with Drs. Levy and Dr. Carey to talk about the cholestatic and autoimmune liver diseases session that'll be tomorrow. Uh, thank you guys for both joining us here this morning. Um, I wanted to ask you, what are uh, the new challenges facing uh, practitioners who treat cholestatic and autoimmune liver disease? So it's a great question. Uh, this session is the advances for practitioners, right? So the goal of the session is really to bring on the new advances, the new research studies, and integrate that, in, help them integrate that into their clinical practice based on the expert's um, input. And so that will address exactly the new challenges that you're discussing. Treatment is a challenge for all three of these diseases. Um, we can discuss each one separately, but treatment is the main one. Specifically in PSC, there's also the risk of cholangiocarcinoma, which is one of the most dreaded complications. So looking for that and diagnosing it early um, is one of the challenges too. Uh, so what new therapies are you going to be looking at, at in this session for PBC? You know, that's one of the challenges with these diseases is historically we've not had very many therapies. For PBC, we um, didn't have a new therapy for 20 years, so for the first time in 20 years, we have a new treatment. There is a specific population that this treatment particularly applies to, so we'll talk about which patients should be considered for new therapies, which patients the standard therapy would be sufficient, and there are some um, special prescribing differences between different patient populations that we'll review. Great. So how are new studies into biomarkers and surveillance strategies potentially, uh, you know, affecting approaches to PSC? Yes. So cholangiocarcinoma occurs in a lifetime. Patients have about 15% risk of developing cholangiocarcinoma, patients with PSC. Of course, this is a dreaded complication, and that is one of the highest causes of mortality for these patients. So identifying these tumors early is a challenge. Right now, there's actually no consensus even among specialists on what's the best way to survey these patients. Uh, most of us will do annual imaging, and the only biomarker we have is CA199. So identifying new biomarkers that are more accurate, and that can identify these tumors early on when the patients are yet amenable to therapies, that is the goal. So this is really a focus of research, finding new biomarkers to, to identify the patients of cholangiocarcinoma really early, that, that is important. What new therapies are out there for autoimmune hepatitis? Well, there's nothing that's evidence-based at this point. We have a standard of care that we've used for many years. We've known that a certain percentage of patients either don't respond to standard of care or who can't tolerate the standard of care. And for those patients, um, many different therapies have been tested in small anecdotal type studies, but we really still don't have good evidence-based medicine for that. But we have enough data now, we're getting more retrospective data to come up with probably a better treatment algorithm for people who fail the standard of care. Well, you know, it sounds like this is going to be a very exciting session. I know that everyone's going to want to attend tomorrow. So thank you both so much for joining us today. Thank, thank you. you.